There it is. Woo! I can't believe that I'm... Oh, jeez. <laughs> You've just got back from the Canadian Grand Prix this morning. Yeah. I couldn't sleep. Really? I slept like an hour or so on the flight. I couldn't get to sleep. I'm just... Because you get to drive centers. I just can't, yeah, I just can't imagine what it's going to be like. I just have this, I have this sound in, in, uh, in my head of the car roaring and going through Monaco streets when he's one-handed. I'm just going to go one-handed round and just see what it's like round one of the corners. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Can I go? In, back in the mid 80s, it was, I mean, there's, a, there's an incredible scene, I think, with Nelson Piquet overtaking Senna on full opposite lock. I mean, very little in the way of safety, very little in the way of aerodynamic grip. Manual gearbox and 1200 horsepower. Yeah, we yeah, have. You've got about well, 700. We have about 700. Yeah, yeah so that's, so. that's 500. More. Which is a lot. I mean, a and with no real downforce yeah and there's the cockpit you could almost punch through it <laughs> it's, f it's phenomenal and i can't even contemplate what it would have been like but uh so that's why i think you have even more respect for the guys that did it back then when you had to be back in the 80s crazy <laughs> <laughs> Driving around at those speed, your wheel falls off, a mechanic makes a mistake, you're dead. It was more difficult to race then the, than it is now, or? I think it's, well, the thing is, today cars are faster. We probably pull a lot more G than they maybe did back, in the, back mm -hmm. then. It was a different car, and the forces they were under, um, you know, and the, the, the fine line between life and death, uh, death was probably, a, a, a lot narrower. Now there's a sense when a car overtakes, the guy that's been overtaken either has a slower car or has an issue yeah. or has been told to save fuel or whatever it might yeah, be. Yeah. Those days you got overtaken, it was, I am going to get you back. back. And yeah, yeah. I think the cars back, back then were you know, a lot less aero, aero efficient you know, yeah. and, and aerodynamic reliant. It was more like a go-kart back then yeah. because they literally had big, huge tyres with mechanical grip, and that's what you have in a go-kart. Yeah. I mean, those cars were monsters. Yeah, but I think the engines, just to think about how much power would come out of a, a V6. 1.5 litre V6 with 1,200 horsepower. Yeah, you just, just can't imagine, and they sounded amazing. Oh, yeah. It's harder, I think, these days for a driver to shine mm. In, in the current cars, because they are so, you know, they're so brittle. And yeah. So, whereas in those days, a driver that was prepared to go and really push them mm. shone much more so than those that... today. I think so. Since I've been in, in motorsport, I've always thought the, the 80s and 90s were the two, that it was the era, the real special era of, yeah. of Formula One. You know, you've got your Mansells, PKs, Prost. The it was just, just were, a, it was just the right time. Were incredible, and do you think that shining out from all of those drivers in that great era? Yeah. Senna rose to the top. Senna rose to the top. I, can't, I don't want to go in. Let's do another lap. And what was it? Do you think about Senna's driving that caught your imagination? His personality and the way he drove suited how I, perhaps how I felt uh, what I would like to do. And how would you sum up his driving compared to, well, anybody else's of the period, or even now, I suppose? I love the fact that he was so sensitive and he could feel everything in the car, and he was so, his attention to detail was, uh, was just incredible. The way, he, the way he drove the car, though. Was so he was quite know. aggressive, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, no, I don't mean as a man, I mean, uh, in, even when he was racing on his own, there was never, yep. nobody near him. He'd still he was be fantastically very, aggressive yes, with the car. Everything, he puts everything into getting that lap and he had no fear. 
That's what I loved about it. I love this car. I love it. Come on. <sighs> That's amazing. Oh, it's, it's so much, it's nothing like the car I drive nowadays. But just to, to know the commitment and to, to get used to driving this car and on the, on the limit, I just, I just couldn't imagine it, man. <laughs> it's one of the best days of my life. I just feel so blessed, you know. I, I, I dreamed my whole life of driving that car. My whole, my whole life. I just, just ticked off one of the, the my dreams.